feeling a little nervous about your next tech interview? Don't worry, we have all been there. There are thousands of questions that an interviewer may ask you in your coding interviews and a major part of them consists of data structures and algorithms. Data is the heart and soul of every software company. Whether it be your monthly budget spreadsheet, that latest cricket score, or your online shopping cart that you keep filling up, different type of data require different ways of being organized. That's where mastering data structures will give you that edge. Before we dive deep, a quick heads up. This video assumes that you have basic understanding of data structures and know a little about things like arrays, strings, and linked lists. Data structures and their implementation. There are seven popular data structures that an interviewer expects you to know if you are a developer. These are arrays, linked lists, stacks, queues, trees, graphs, and hash tables or sets. You must learn the basics and implementation of each of these data structures and the time complexity required to insert, delete, or search an element within them. Recursion. Programmers have a love-hate relationship with recursion. You rarely see recursion in website or application development. But the code written using recursion is so elegant that it makes it seem easy. Even though it is rarely used in companies, interviewers expect you to know about recursion as it tests your in-depth knowledge of working of program and function call stack. Recursion is a topic that fuels various other algorithms like DFS, backtracking, and dynamic programming. DFS and BFS. DFS stands for Depth First Search. It is the most common algorithm asked during coding interviews. Interviewers love asking questions based on trees and graphs, and DFS is the algorithm to solve them. DFS goes deep into the path and returns all the way back to the root while BFS stands for Breadth First Search. It goes broad and is used to solve problems like level order traversal of a tree or to find the shortest distance between nodes in graphs. You can easily expect at least one question based on DFS or BFS. A lot of time, it may not seem very obvious that the question is from graph, but you can convert it into a graph and easily solve it using one of the two above. Binary Search the most difficult part when solving a binary search question is to identify that you need to use binary search in that question. Binary search is one of the easiest but not so intuitive algorithms. It is fairly basic, easy to understand and implement. But to identify that a particular question could benefit from the binary search approach is difficult. In interviews, understanding binary search algorithms is crucial. It's a common topic that an interviewer expects the candidate to know. Dynamic Programming Dynamic programming is a powerful technique for solving complex problems by breaking them down into simpler sub-problems and storing the results of these sub-problems to avoid recomputing them. This is necessary to not repeat the same problem again and again. There are many times while using DFS, recursion or backtracking that you will calculate the same problem again and again, which takes your time complexity of the code to exponential levels. Dynamic programming using memoization or tabulation eliminates this problem by storing the already calculated values and using them whenever necessary. It is one of the most advanced concepts in problem solving and you must practice to master it well. Sorting Fundamentals There are a lot of instances where sorting is required to solve a problem. You may do a single pass after sorting the data, but your solving algorithm remains the bottleneck in terms of complexity. People sometimes miss this when using in-bit sort functions. Every interviewer expects you to know the popular sorting algorithms like merge sort and quick sort and the different time complexities at which they run. Multiple variables or pointers. Maintaining or manipulating multiple variables or pointers to access different elements of data structures at the same time is a more common way of solving problems than most expect. Reversing a linked list is one of the most common questions asked in an interview, and it uses three pointers in its iterative approach. Another use case is in sliding windows, when you have to maintain a window while traversing through the elements in a data structure. This list provides a helpful starting point to understand the type of questions that you might encounter in an interview. 
However, remember that preparation goes beyond memorizing questions. Invest time in deepening your knowledge of fundamentals of data structures and explore specific applications in data science. This comprehensive approach will equip you to tackle not only common questions but also unexpected scenarios. Ready to ace your interview performance? Start by mastering the essential data structures. Subscribe to our YouTube channel for more engaging tech videos, offering valuable insights and guidance on your coding journey.